Uh, as we talk about reopening the economy, there are reports saying that many CEOs are saying it has to happen with more testing. That could also involve antibody testing. That is testing to see if people have had exposure to coronavirus with perhaps without perhaps knowing about it. We're joined now by Chris Smith. He is CEO of Orthoclinical Diagnostics. He's joining us from Denver, Colorado. Um, and Chris, you all have developed such an antibody test. Uh, talk to me about where it's being used and exactly how it's being used. Listen, thanks for having me on the show this morning. And you know, first, just want to thank all of the healthcare workers out there, as well as our ortho teammates that are on the front lines every day helping to manage this virus. But you are correct, as you mentioned, we actually have brought a, a COVID-19 antibody test to market. As a matter of fact, we're in the process of bringing our second uh, to market over the next couple of days. Our first test that we brought to market was really the first uh, automated test that you can do large volume of testing for patients uh, uh, really across the country, but in our case, also across the world. And as you can imagine, for us to get people back to work and get the economy moving, it's gonna be really important that we're able to do large volumes of tests to ensure that patients have built up uh, immune system or the antibodies to this, this terrible virus. Chris, I'm curious, this is a blood test that uses a tube of blood, correctly? So it's not the kind of thing that you can administer to people as they're about to enter the workplace, or is it? Well, it absolutely is a place where you could, could administer as you come back to the workplace, but you are right, it is a tube of blood, but this is a test that runs in under an hour. And, and one of these analyzers will run about 130 to 150 tests per hour. So you could do very large volume of testing, up to three to 3,500 tests per day per analyzer. So I think it's different than maybe what you thought about, Adam, initially, which was the molecular testing, which was a swab that you can now get done relatively quickly, which were there were days of waiting. But the blood tests are now starting to roll out into the market. And even though it's using serum blood, you can get results, again, in our case, in less than an hour. Um, my understanding is that even if you have antibodies, because we are still trying to grapple with our understanding of this virus, that antibodies don't necessarily mean immunity. So is it is there a danger it's going to give people a sense of false security? Yeah, Julie, look, obviously, because this is a new virus, we're learning every single day and we're working very closely with researchers. Historically, as your body builds up antibodies, it creates an immune system immunity to whatever that virus would be. So one of the things that's gonna become really important in this testing is two things. One is specificity and one is sensitivity. What specificity means is that it, that it identifies and prevents things like false positive. So if you were to go and have a test, you wanna make sure that it lets you know whether there's COVID in your system or not, because that allows you to start building up immunity. And that's one of, the, I think, as you look at these tests, and you probably heard last week, there was some trouble, for example, in the UK, where some other tests they were worried about that sensitivity and specificity, that's gonna be really important. But your body does start to build up immunity, but right now the belief from a lot of clinicians is that is our best step forward on getting people back to work. We're encouraging people that you obviously have to work with your clinician and understand what's going on in your own system, but, but historically that's been the process of how we treat these diseases, is that your body builds up antibodies and that creates the immunity. Uh, Chris, as we wrap up with you, curious if uh, what governors or what businesses might be reaching out to you to bring this test forward to the rest of us? Yeah, look, Adam, I think it's a really good question. I mean, we've been working initially with the, the government in Washington, obviously going through the FDA. I think what's gonna be important is that these hospitals that have analyzers in them. So in our case, we're in over a thousand hospitals in the United States and reference labs. It's really being driven by them. It's not being driven on a large scale yet by governors. I think as we learn more and as these tests become more available, I think we'll start to see that. But it's been very much when working with the White House and, and, uh, and the FDA as this product starts to come to market. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.